everybody Ann here, bright and early in the morning, having my coffee with all of you. A little bit cool out today, but it's going to be another beautiful, beautiful day. I did have my fire last night, and it was lovely, so here's a little clip. And so now I've got so much i got to get done, and I have energy today, so today's a good day to get stuff done. I better get it done instead of just sitting around enjoying the beauty. Uh, i got to get uh, chicken bedding in all of the chicken coop and areas and whatnot and fix up some new nesting boxes for the new girls because um, the Easter eggers already have their nesting boxes. I just need to clean them out, put more litter in them. Um, but Miss Pris's other chickens, the ones that are like, I don't know how old they are, 15, 16 weeks, something like that. Um, I'm going to prepare some nesting boxes for them and put some little fake eggs so they can go in and explore and kind of get used to them, so I'm going to do that. And um, I checked earlier this morning and it's the generator is still sitting in Jackson, so I don't know if it's going to come out today or not. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, i got to finish my coffee and get going. I just checked Amazon and... Okay, I still got to go get stuff done because the chickens need it. I need to put that bedding in there and because um, I do the deep litter method. And um, if you don't keep putting it in there, it starts getting kind of, you know, rank, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to occupy my time doing that. He probably won't get here till late in the afternoon. So I don't know if I'll be able to show the, the delivery in today's video. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You know what? Change of plans. I've decided that before I do at least the van coop, I need to fix this compost heap back here because the chickens get into it. They spread the stuff all over the place and I don't want them to do that. So I need to find some pallets and see if I can build an actual compost heap bin, whatever. See what I'm talking about here? <laughs> yep, this is the second one. That's the first one. It was higher. Of course, it compacts down. Um, I put a piece of cardboard over that just so that they would stop getting in there. So what I'm going to do is find some pallets and actually build just a very simple compost bin so the chickens can't get up in here. Um, so let me find some pallets. I want you to look at this first pile that I started. Look at that. It started out all like that and underneath after, oh, I want to say maybe a year and a half of curing, it looks like that underneath. So. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to combine these two piles together and I'm just going to let them cure for a couple more years um, before I start using it. But this soil, oh, it looks absolutely rich and fantastic. Um, so anyhow, yeah, I'm going to set it up in this area right here. I've got three pallets right here that I can use. And I hate to say it, but as much as I really thought this was going to be a good idea. I don't like showering out here. <laughs> I just don't. So I'm going to take this off its base and I'm going to keep this here and use it for like an outdoor potty if I need to. Um, as far as showering, well, you know, I do most of that indoors, honestly. So these pallets are going to be repurposed. And there it is, my awesome new compost bin. All I've done is connected these pallets, and I just tied them together for now. I mean, I could connect them permanently, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. Um, this one in the front is a little bit shorter. Uh, I was worried about that at first, but it kind of makes sense because I don't want to be having to lug, you know, stuff over the top and, and dump it way too high. So this is going to make caring for the bin easier. Um, Yep, I got this one on this side, and they're all just kind of tied together. And it's uh, pretty gosh darn stable. Um, yeah, it's pretty stable. Doesn't look like it's going to fall apart. It might fall apart eventually, but um, for now it'll work. Um, yeah, I did go ahead and line these because the stuff would get out. Uh, just use garbage bags. I hope that's environmentally friendly. I mean, I hope it won't make things toxic. I don't think it will. 
Um, but this compost is looking so absolutely wonderful. So the next step is to empty out the van. Um, empty out the van pretty much almost all the way and put it in here and just kind of mix things around uh, and then put new bedding in the, van, in the van. I can't talk, I'm tired. I need to sit down and have a cold beverage. But this is kind of like my idea of how I wanted it in the first place. I would rather have screens on the side. Um, honestly, that's how I will probably eventually do it. I mean, if I needed to, it wouldn't be a problem just to um, cut these ropes because I've got plenty of, of rope and put the screens on the inside just to keep the stuff in. Um, I may not even need it, but I don't know. I kind of think that I do. And uh, so that there, there would be air and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But um, this is great. This is great. This is going to work so much better. And um, the chickens may fly in. I don't know. But at least if they're going to be scratching around, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Um, but if they're going to scratch around, at least all the compost isn't going to go all over the place. <laughs> so here we go. I think in two years this should be ready and I'll build another one over here eventually. What I really need to do now is go get all that bedding out of the van and put new bedding in but whew, I'm hot so I'm having some electrolyte solution. It's like 1235. No, the generator's not here yet but I just keep listening to every little truck and sound that comes down the street thinking, is it the UPS guy? Um, I don't know how I'm going to get it all the way up here. I mean... He might want to pull up, but I don't really like the UPS trucks pulling up my drive. It does a lot of wear and tear. So I may take the wagon down to the street, and I think I can transport it in the wagon because I got that big uh, sink console vanity thing out of my truck, put it into the wagon, and pulled it up to the front porch, and I did that all by myself. So um, I couldn't get it inside the house by myself. I had to have my neighbor help me, but... Um, if it fit that big old vanity, it's going to fit a generator in a box. And the generator weighs, well, including the box and shipping materials, I think it's going to be about 130 pounds. So um, this is going to be interesting. It's here. Oh, my gosh. It's here. Whew. <laughs> we got it in the wagon. Look at, look at you guys. He got it in the wagon. And now I'm pulling it all the way up my drive. It's heavy. It's heavy. I've got the best UPS driver. Well, the regular UPS driver. He's awesome. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to get it up. I'm going to get it up underneath the awning. Phew. This thing is heavy. And I'm going uphill. I can do it, you guys. I can do it. I got it up. I'm trying to decide whether I want to pull it up underneath the awning and put it together there. Or just pull it all the way over... To the shed where it's going to go. I don't know. Um, I'm going to think about this because I don't think I can pull it around this way. I don't, I don't know if it'll fit between these logs. Um, and I'd have to try and maneuver it around. I don't think I can get it through there. If I'm going to take it to the shed, I'm going to have to go all the way around there because it won't fit through there. All right, let me think this through. See what I mean? See what I mean, guys? I don't know. I'm committed to it now. I can do it. <laughs> if there is a will, there's a way. I can do this. I am woman. Hear me roar, but it's starting to tip. It's starting to tip. Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> I got it. I got it. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? You think it's going to fit in there? <sighs> I don't know. Let me give it a try. All right, let's see here. This is going to be tricky. Let's see. All right, I think I'm going to need two hands to do this. <laughs> I am persistent. Oh, I can do this. Oh, yes. See what I mean? Perseverance. Persistence pays off. And she's in. Oh my gosh. Look, I did it. Okay. I'm going to go take a rest. And then I'm going to make sure I have the manual downloaded. I'm sure there's a manual inside here. Uh, I'm going to get my scissors. I'm going to start snip, snip, snipping.
and see if I can get this thing put together and going. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.